Hello, welcome back again to another video on uh, Caden Life. In this video, we look at 10 tips that will help us to make our workflow faster. Let's get started. So, number one, in the latest update, uh, now you are able to remove this space in between the two clips. It was there before but was inactive, now it's active. So, you can be able to right click and uh, remove that. Number two, instead of right click and go to change the speed of the clip like this. You can hold down the control and place the mouse at the end of the clip and drag to decrease the speed or you can increase the speed up. Number 3. Usually we come to the view here and add an editor. You can just simply click here and you can add the editor. When you click above here, you're adding from this menu from the view and when you click below here, you have this little nice uh, configure toolbar here. And you can be able to, to add some tool like what I have done here to make it easy for you to access them. Uh, we can just remove this and you can see some here. So you can simply type in whatever tool that you have in mind or you can simply go down in here and select that and add it into the uh, current action. And then you can apply and click OK there. And you can see now you can simply click here and add your uh, Instead of right click here, you can simply click in here and add in your text or whatever that you want to add. And then click uh, create to create that. The next one is uh, with the latest update 22.12, uh, you now have the uh, guide editor. Usually we do a right click and we add the guide or simply hit G to add a guide. And you have the small editor here. And now you're able to add an editor which has many functions that you can be able to use them. So here, right click. And you can see the guide here and now there is the guide so if we are to add a guide here let's place our playhead here and then click on the guide here uh, we can change the color to whatever color that we want change the name and then click ok and you can see the uh, guide here that we can uh, be able to move to whatever position that you want to and they are right here you can uh, always uh, edit from here you can add from here add a new one you can delete them from this menu here. You can import and export and configure the categories right inside this editor. The next one is the uh, changing the resolution of the video. Usually uh, we have one is to one, which is the full HD uh, when we come in here. Uh, well, sometimes uh, you can see that it's a bit uh, laggy if you have the uh, high def uh, video. So usually you can change from here a different resolution here to 720, 540, 360. 720 and edit your video but when you export that it will always export as hd now for this next one is very interesting so for example sometimes we just drag a clip to the timeline and then uh, we don't want the audio so we do a right click and now uh, we go up to the ungroup clip so we can be able to remove the audio but did you know that when you place the mouse here you can see the uh, video icon and the audio icon you can select to just simply uh, place the video clip right onto the timeline without the audio. And when you want to uh, place the audio as well, you can simply click here and just point to the audio icon and drag the audio one here. And if you want to add the audio to it, you can simply right click and then uh, restore audio. You can also do the same for the uh, audio as well, restore video. Now, if you want to change the duration of a video, uh, you can always do them here by simply at the in point and the out point or the in zone and the out zone. Or you can simply do that or simply just uh, do a right click and uh, you can see the edit duration here. Once you have that, now you can be able to type in the uh, crop start duration and then crop end. So let's say we just want to change this one to uh, an 8 seconds clip, something like that. So let's just put to 8 and uh, zero, 0 and then click OK. So we just trim it down. With the latest update of Caden Live, uh, you can be able to uh, display the preview right inside Glex Enemy. Let's try and see that. Uh, right click here and create an animation. So if you haven't watched our video on uh, how to set up uh, Caden Live for Glex Animate Apart, uh, you can watch the video link up there. And uh, here we just want to click here to open open the uh, Glex uh, animate up and creating an animation or JSON file. Now we are here, uh, we just uh, create a little um, animation here. So let's just place this one here, this one here, just for fun. 
And now uh, let's enable the recording button. Place the um, playhead somewhere here. Move this one right in there. Fill this color to a different color again. Something like that. And place this one here. Place change the color and bring this one back and change it to the color. And something like this just for fun. And uh, bring it back in the over there. And then let's stop that and go to file and uh, save and um, let's close Glex Animate and now uh, we can see our little animation is right here. So let's just drag this and place it here and we can see. So it's nicely now. In the past, uh, in the previous version with the Glex Animate being integrated, it's not really that um, really nice. But now you can create JSON file right inside here. Okay, so with this latest update, uh, you can double click here and you can get this preview right into Glex Animate. So let's double click and see how it works. So now you can see we just bring in the preview from Kaden Live right inside Glex Animate. So you can be able to uh, do your animation, align them nicely where you want to. And it's very interesting now and I, I really love this uh, uh, update for this part only. Okay, thank you. And um, yeah, that's how we can do that. So once you finish that, you can simply uh, finish your animation. You can simply save that and just close uh, Glex Animate and you're back again in Kaden Live. Okay, and the last and the final is uh, proxy clips. So to create a pr proxy clips, you can come to the project here, go to the project settings, and you can see that you have the proxy here. Click that and enable the proxy. Uh, generate for videos larger than uh, how many uh, pixels that you want to place here, whether 2,000 pixels, 1,000 pixels, and then the video size width, uh, something like that. And then if you have some, you want to use some uh, image, so photos as well, you can also click here to generate those uh, images as well. And once you have that, click OK, and uh, you can see right here it's trying to generate the proxy clip. Okay, so that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, uh, please uh, like the video, thumbs up, and also if you are new, you can subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much and see you back again in another video.